All right, hello everybody, and this is my command block calculator. I got the idea for this a while ago, actually, when I saw a, some well, I saw a person who was <clears throat> claiming to have created a full command block calculator using the scoreboard function, but in reality, he had just made a database that, when he detected two numbers, spit out the answer from the database as a command as a message or a chat message and the problem with that and the what, what stopped to say what stops that from being a quote unquote calculator is the fact that calculators don't run via databases they run using logic so that's what this one does it uses actual calculator logic to, and using the scoreboard function to display any number between 0 and 99. The problem with this though is that if you try to go beyond its limits then <clears throat> you're going to wind up screwing the display up so that's why I added this reset display button but as long as you stay inside the limits of it you, put, you really won't have to do that. Um, I've been looking into adding in negative number support as well but that hasn't really been going as planned and so I decided not so I decided to leave that logic out for the video um so yeah ba the green wool that you see is the wiring for the display itself the sand wool is just it's both bus is is busing for the clock and when I start adding in more functions such as negatives it's also going to just be general logic um, over here green green is the logic for carrying and purple is the logic for borrowing for and so just and that's how I interact with the tense place here and the way this general and the way this basically works is I have two scoreboard objectives I have the scoreboard objective ones and the scoreboard objective tens and so now I go back out here to the buttons basically this half of the, the addition half of the buttons just adds to the ones and the subtraction half of the buttons just subtracts from the ones and so then this logic back here just allows me to only to let make you only allowed to, to interact with the ones and yet still use a tense place and so because of the modular idea there you could I could actually make this have a hundreds and a thousands place rather easily by just carrying over this little strip of logic to the tense place as well and so forth and so forth and right over here is my failed first attempt at the display which I think the only number that's actually programmed in right here is three. So let's see if that still works. Still an item set this hopper to destruct the clock. By the way, this is the clock design that I originally or that I finally managed to choose on. The two that I was thinking is it was between that clock design and this one. This one right here is between this clock design and the one that I'm actually using. So let me just show you is between this. Starting stuff can be a little bit difficult. When I'm, oh, that's why it was difficult to start up. This was this one had delay. All right, is between this clock design and this one right here. This one is a tad bit faster by a, I'd say about a tick or a half, uh, or a half tick or it's just, but it is faster. But this design right here is more easily toggleable on and off, so that's why I finally came to decide the decision to use this clock design right here in lieu of this one. <sighs> Yeah, this was my original 
display idea. And the only number that's actually hard that's actually coded into it right now is that's actually coded into it is three. Yeah, see that's the only number that'll work on the display is three. There we go. <clears throat> so yeah, that's just a little, something that's a little interesting. This is my original display idea. So let's turn off this clock to cut down the lag a bit. <clears throat> um, that's another thing is that I managed to get this entire thing just running off on all these command blocks, just running off this one clock to kind of minimize the lag. And <clears throat> I, I, I think that it's fairly decently fast about the uh, logic. I mean, it's actually a lot slower right now since I'm recording, but usually it doesn't even take, usually it takes about a second, about a, or about a second, second and a half, usually. Well, actually, maybe not even that long. I haven't actually timed it, but usually it doesn't take very long for the number to pop up. And it's actually much faster than what you're seeing right here, because again, it's going slower because I'm recording. Wait. Let's wait for this update. All right, there. See, now we have 18. So that's the carry function. I added two nines. It turns it turned the one place to an eight, and it turned the ten place to a one. And now, if I were to subtract nine again away from it, it would turn. Yeah, you see, you can see down there in the chat that it turned the one's place to ten to nine. I turned the tenth place to zero because it because it saw a negative number, and so that's how the borrowing works. This is how the logic works. If it sees a one's place number higher than nine, higher than nine, which means a ten through nineteen, I just went with, then it'll fix the one's place. So it saw eighteen, so it fixed it to zero or to eight, and then it added one to ten, and then one to tens. I sense a negative number here, so it turned the ones place to nine and it subtracted one from the tens. And so that's basically how the logic for this works. You could also have buttons to add like 10, 11, 12. Really, you can have any buttons you want. But I just went with um, simple input for now. So it isn't really the most advanced calculator, but I just wanted to see if I, one could be could possibly be made using the scoreboard system. And I mean, it, it's possible to make the logic much more advanced, but again, I was just trying something simple here. So just two places instead of like eight or nine like you usually have in a calculator. And... Instead of in being able to input higher numbers by ch clicking these buttons, you can only input to the ones place for now. But <clears throat> it could uh, be possible to add in the logic for them to be able to input things like 99 and get like 99 plus 8 and then get 107 and such. And a lot more is possible than what has actually been done here so far. But again, I'm just trying to keep it simple as a proof of concept. I actually don't know if a scoreboard calculator has actually been done yet. But this just been something that I've been wanting to do for a while and I finally got around to working with the logic for it. So yeah. I'm just going to do another quick flyby of the wiring behind here it's actually really I know it's really messy and hard to actually see what's going on but I'll release a world save at some point so you can in inspect the wiring yourself and this lever right here just when it's pulled it turns off the clock for everything yeah the, see the clock is now off all this does is the lever usually keeps the hopper powered, so it keeps this hopper inside of it and the clock running. But when I unpower the hopper, it just feeds off into the chest. And <coughs> so yeah.
that's just how the clock is toggled. Then when I want to turn it back on, I just put the, I just flip the lever on, and I put the item back inside the hopper. And the clock is once again running, which means that it's once again checking the logic. So yeah, anyways, just scoreboard calculator, yay.